Hey everyone, let's talk about the different API connectors in Stackby. So very recently, we have updated our Ahrefs API. So if you're a marketer or a content marketer or an SEO marketer, you're well aware of Ahrefs. And it's a top-notch SEO tool that most of the content teams use. So we have updated that API connector in Stackby. Um, so let's see how that works and how you can automate your SEO competitor analysis with the Ahrefs API. We've also published a template about this, so you can feel free to use the same template and just bring your Ahrefs API key. Please note that you need a paid Ahrefs API account uh, to get the API key. So you need an enterprise account to get that API key from Ahrefs. So we have access to it, so we can show you how we can use it in our SEO competitor analysis. Now let's see how it goes. So the first thing that you need to do is just connect to the Ahrefs account. So you go to the... Here we've already connected. Just click on add API key. Just name your connection to whatever and add, copy and paste the API key from Ahrefs. So within Ahrefs, if you go to your dashboard, you can see, you can go to the Ahrefs API to understand the different types of API services that are available. And if you go to the API key within those services, so let's just say we go to the API keys, you go to account and settings to get the API key. And here you will see, you know, you have to upgrade to unlock an API. So if you're if you're that, you need to upgrade to one of the enterprise plans within Ahrefs to get that API key. A lot of content marketing teams already have this, uh, you know, API key available. So, so now once you've connected, you basically add your API key here and you go back to your dashboard. So we've created a template called SEO competitor analysis. So this is how the template looks. Um, so you just add your domains, you know, of the competitors that you wish, uh, you know, you're looking to track and you want to bring the latest data. Uh, you know, let's say just add the date, uh, you know, of the information that you want to bring. And here we have connected to the domain rating API. So uh, I've chosen, you go to connect to an API or a service, go to Ahrefs. Uh, here we have already added the Ahrefs 2023 API key. And in this, you know, you select an Ahref service. So you'll see an updated list of different services Within Ahrefs, we've added seven new services. So here we want to bring the domain rating, you know, of an individual URL. Select the targets column to reference, which is the domain and the date column to reference, which you want to bring the data, right? So, so let's just say I'll add, you know, uh, one more domain uh, to see how that works, right? So let's just say jot form. I added the date. I hit refresh. So it automatically pulls in the information of the domain rating and the Ahrefs rank of that particular domain. So I can see this in the data. Uh, you know, this particular API function gives you two different uh, uh, data points that you can select and create the columns with. Since we already created the columns, we don't have to do it again. Now, um, the second API function that I want to talk about is backlinks, right? This is great for your off-page SEO strategy. Um, so same way, go to Ahrefs, select your API key. And in this one, you have to select for backlinks, um, get backlink details for the URL. Uh, the targets is the domain and date is the date column to reference. So I just hit refresh. So it automatically pulls in the information. In this one, it gives you how many live domains, uh, you know, are there uh, that are linking to that particular domain. Uh, all time domains and how many live reference domains and all time reference domains. So this gives you a fair bit of analysis in terms of how, uh, you know, their off page posture of that domain is. Now uh, you want to bring organic matrix of, uh, you know, these domains. So the first thing that you want to add uh, to bring the organic website SEO matrix is, uh, you know, which country you want to, you know, bring that matrix for. So in this case, I want to bring it for US. Um, I go to the organic matrix uh, 
API. So for uh, matrix, get matrix for the URL. In this one, you have to select three things, domain, uh, date, and country as a column to reference. So we've already added the country column type. All I need to do is just hit refresh. So it basically pulls in the information. I'm not sure why it's not pulling for a jot form, but ideally it pulls in, uh, you know, the information uh, for other um, uh, domains as well. So basically what this does is it gives you the matrix like organic keywords, paid keywords, uh, organic traffic cost and paid traffic and paid cost. Uh, gives you a fair bit of uh, idea in terms of how many keywords are in one to three, uh, you know, for that particular domain. Uh, and what is the total organic traffic? So you can quickly create, uh, you know, one that is relevant for your business, you know, just, uh, you know, create an SEO competitive analysis, uh, you know, for, for your business or for your domain, just add the domains that you wish to track, get the API key and uh, get this automated. You can, what you can also do is uh, rather than manually refreshing, uh, you can also schedule this API to create an automation to run this, let's just say every, uh, you know, one week. Or uh, you can keep changing the dates to bring, uh, you know, more information, uh, you know, about that domain. So, uh, you know, you always have fresh information about, uh, you know, how many, uh, you know, domains or keywords and their organic traffic changes of the organic traffic, uh, you know, for, for your competitors. So feel free to give this a try. Um, we are constantly updating our API connectors as well. So this should, you know, help you uh, automate a lot of your, you know, reporting and uh, analysis process. Uh, so if you're managing your content strategy or you're doing your content planning for your business or your team, uh, you know, this is a great, uh, you know, first place to start. Uh, rather than manually patching information from multiple spreadsheets, exporting data, uh, you can easily use this uh, template and make it your own. So give this a try and let us know what you think.